Well, hello, hello, hello. This is Victoria Lowe, and I'm back with another video, and this time it means three colors. I am continuing our palette. This is part two to our palette. I'm going in with a beautiful blue, a beautiful nude, and a brown. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. First things first, if you are new here, welcome. And if you're not welcome back, be sure to make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And be sure to connect with me on Instagram at very underscore velo. You guys already know that I'm going in with my world famous lipstick base. <laughs> That's a lipstick bullet base, you guys. And I'm going in with a quarter of a teaspoon of the Very Velo Beauty lipstick bullet base. You can pick this up from my website, verylowbeauty.com. And right behind that, I'm going in with a quarter teaspoon of the ISO Remix. And I'm adding that to my beaker as well. And I'm just going to take that beaker, sit it in the pot on low, number one. And I'm just going to let it melt for us low and slow while we work. First color I'm going in is a, with is a tad of the Very Velo Beauty brown liquid concentrate and I'm adding that to my tray that I got from the Dollar Tree and then I'm going in with a smidgen of the pink liquid concentrate and I'm adding that to the tray as well and then lastly I'm going in with a dash of the white liquid concentrate and I'm just going to mix those in very very well be sure to ch shake all of your liquid concentrates because the contents do tend to settle. So you wanna shake them up real good. Okay, you guys, so the first color that I'm mixing is a nude, and it is a cute nude with a pink undertone, and I'm mixing it in my tray that I got from the Dollar Tree. It kinda helps me to eyeball everything, being that we're working in smaller increments, and I love that. So shout out to Dollar Tree for these trays. Here I'm going in with a smidgen of the brown oxide that is the powder oxide. I made sure that I listed it in the description box below where I got all of the ingredients that I'm using. And I'm just gonna mix that in very well. Next, I'm going in with a smidgen of the FDNC Red, number 27, Allen Lake, and I'm going to mix that in very well, too. For the sake of the color payoff, I'm going in and I'm adding a tad of the Very Velo Beauty White Liquid Concentrate to our mixture. So now I'm just going in for the sake of progress to do a color swatch. And it's a cute nude, but not what I want. So I'm going in with a smidgen of the titanium 
dioxide to really make that nude pop. Now I'm going in the color swatch for progress and that is exactly what I wanted. I wanted the color payoff to be bomb and it's bomb to me. <laughs> so I'm going to add my mixture to the beaker. And you guys, you know that this beaker, this mixture or this base, I'm sorry, forms very fast. So if it starts to form on you before you can mix the colors in or mix the mixture in evenly, you are safe to put it back inside of the pot so that it can melt down some more because when you pour it you want to make sure that it is in its liquid state as liquid as it can be in order for it to pour into the pan evenly without clumps or lumps and that's going to give you a flawless lipstick pan like so you just want to make sure that it's liquid and runny so that it can disperse evenly all over the pan and there you have it and you're gonna just take that and let it set you don't have to put it in the freezer but i do and i take it out of the freezer and let it dry next color i'm going in with a quarter of a teaspoon of the very vila beauty base as well as a quarter teaspoon of the iso remix in the same measure and i'm adding that to my beaker and I'm just going to place that beaker inside of the pot on the first level so that it can melt nice and slow. Now I'm going in a, with a tad of the Very Vila Beauty Brown Liquid Concentrate. This next color that we're making is going to be a nice deep dark brown like chocolate fudge and then I'm going in with a smidge of the white titanium dioxide oh I'm sorry the white liquid concentrate I'm not adding titanium dioxide to this simply because I want it to be dark so if I added titanium dioxide it will put me more on the nude side so I'm sorry that was the white concentrate and I'm mixing it in really really good now I'm going in with the tad of the brown oxide and as you can see the tad is pretty generous it's still many measuring spoons but it is too generous for our pan so I'm adding it in in increments and I'm mixing that in very well
to darken up the color, I'm going to add a tad of the black liquid concentrate. And you guys, I sell these concentrates separately as well as in a variety. So you'll have whatever concentrate you need to fit your needs or whatever color or colors that you're making. And I'm just mixing that in very, very well. So I'm going in with a swatch check for progress and as you guys can see that's more of a milk chocolate and I'm going for a fudge so I'm using a pinch of the black oxide to darken things up and that is quite a bit of black. The more black you use the darker the color will be. If you want a darker pink use black. If you want a darker red use black. Black is kind of like vamping out your lipstick but if you're the more generous you are with the black the darker the color will be so that's just a heads up so I'm using the pinch and I'm mixing it in very well on the tray in the tray I love this tray because it helps me to eyeball it being that we're working in, in a smaller ratio for the pan so it helps me to kind of incorporate everything easily and evenly That's what I'm talking about. Nice, deep, dark, and rich. Just like chocolate fudge. Chocolate fudge might be a little darker than that, but I'll just say a brownie. <laughs> yeah, a brownie. <laughs> so, yes, I am I, off camera. I already mixed it into our beaker, and it is in its liquid state, and I'm pouring that into our pan, and I'm going to stick it in the freezer, take it out, let it dry. I do that with both my bullets and my pans alike. I like to sit them out and let them dry, but on to the next color. Last color of the day, I'm going in with a quarter of a teaspoon of our base, and I'm also going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of ISO Dodecane Remix to our baker. You beaker, you guys can get them both from my website if you are tuning in or if you fast forward it. Yes, you can get both of them from VeryLoveBeauty.com. And I'm going to sit this beaker inside of the pot on level one so that it can melt nice and slow so that we'll be able to melt while we work. This color is going to be this beautiful dark blue. And I'm going in with a tad of the brown oxide just to start off with because I really want this blue to be very earthy. And now I'm going in with a dash of the white liquid concentrate as well because we want our color payoff to also pop even though it's a dark color. Next I'm going in with a pinch of the blue liquid concentrate and I'm adding that to my mixture. And next I am going in with a pinch of my pink liquid concentrate and I'm adding that to the mixture as well and I am going to mix all of these together. with a smidgen of the F now I'm going in with a smidgen of the FDNC 
red number 27 lake dye and I'm gonna mix this in really well first before I add the blue and I'm just mixing that around and make sure I incorporate it really well Now I'm going in with a smidgen of the blue number one, Alum Lake or Lake Dye, same thing. And I'm mixing it in really well with my mixing tool. And I'm just trying to get all of that blue incorporated into my mixture. Hitting by my arm, I'm going in with a smidgen of the titanium dioxide just to make this color pop. And I'm using just a little bit to brighten it up, just a bit, and I'm mixing it really, really good because you guys know titanium dioxide could either make or break your product. And yes, it is necessary if you want that color to pop. Titanium oxide and dioxide are one and the same. And you guys, this is this cute periwinkle purple. If you like that, cool, but I'm keeping it moving. So I use a smidgen of the blue, FDNC blue number one, and I mixed it with TKB's Glimmer Beige just so that it can have some pop because most micas, most blue micas have ultramarine in them. Now, ultramarine, you guys, are not approved by the FDA so I basically had to make my own blue shimmer and I did that simply by adding the glimmer beige mica or you can use any white sh shimmery mica that is approved by the FDA um, I did get my mica from TKB now TKB tells you whether it's approved from the FDA um, whether it's approved in the US or the UK and also if it's approved for the eyes the lips and the face so be sure to check that out and I just mix my blue in that same part equal parts in a smidgen with the glimmer beige I mixed it together and they gave me this beautiful blue pigment shimmer pigment that you see me using here and you can see as the light hits it it is shimmering so that is what I wanted and that's what I got. I just want you guys to also always do your research and on the FDA website it tells you which colorants or color additives are safe to use in the US. Each country different. Each country it varies in each country, but it does tell you and I just want you guys to check that website out. I'll be sure to link it in the description box below. And that is the color that I got. And it is so pretty. Look at that. Look at the way the light just bounces off of it. This cute, dazzling blue. Love it, love it, love it. And it, it kind of gives you a royal blue vibe on my arm. But when I put it on, it translates as a darker blue which both are very pretty. If you wanted it to be on the royal blue side, I would say add another smidgen of the white, the titanium dioxide, I'm sorry, and that will give you more of a royal blue shiny um, lipstick, and which I think would be pretty too. I think I should have done them both. I think I should have just split it up, but all is well. There you have it. That's that liquid state that I'm talking about. 
you guys want to be able to swish it around that beaker so that it can go into our pan evenly and easily just like that and i'm going to take it and put it in the freezer and let it dry take it out the freezer let it dry and just like that i added three more colors to our palette we are on a roll look at this beautiful nude you guys this brown oh my gosh and the blue thank you so much for watching lipstick game i love you your support means every every everything to me if you haven't joined the lipstick game make sure you subscribe we would love to have you peace have a good day